Hey everybody, this is Steve Steele with a continuation of my Digital Performer and Vienna Ensemble Pro series. And today I'm back with an updated system. First of all, I've got Digital Performer 9. Yeah! And I bought a Mac Pro for my Vienna Ensemble Pro Slave. So when I did my first video, I was running everything off my host machine. Let's take a quick look at the specs. So for the host machine, this is a 2008 eight core running at three gigahertz with 32 gigabytes of RAM. solid state boot drive and my sample drives are solid state raids for the vienna ensemble machine this is a 2009 mac pro i updated the firmware to 2010 installed new processors these are the w5690s it's a 12 core at 3.46 gigahertz. I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM. And as you can see on the desktop, I have solid state drive for the boot drive. I've got a couple more SATA solid state drives for my samples. This actually has samples on it. And this is the uh, OWC Excelsior, which has a sustained read speed of about 780 megabytes per second and i'm about to install a sonnet tempo which supposedly has a sustained read time of about a thousand or eleven hundred megabytes per second and that's got dual sata ssds in it okay so next what i want to show you is i composed a piece for this and what I'd like to play back are the MIDI tracks. I'm not going to play back the stems because I want you to see the performance of the Vienna Ensemble Mac Pro. All right. So here we go. Okay, so let's talk about this piece real quick. It starts off kind of light with some percussion. And there's some counter melodies between the winds and the strings. The brass come in about halfway through. And that's fairly light, but it gets heavy at the end uh, with a lot of voices especially in the strings, in the second cadence. The first cadence has a lot of winds and brass and some strings, but it's that last cadence that really piles on all the voices. All right, so let's take a look at how I have the Vienna Ensemble server set up. So 
for the thread count, I found, and I've checked all of these, I've tried all of these, that about six threads works best. Somewhere between four and six threads. It's about 25%. It may be slightly different on your machine. I would read the Vienna Ensemble Manual to figure out how to set this, but I would also try some different settings and try, you know, go extreme. Try one thread, try as many threads as you can, and you'll quickly start to find out where a good balance is. If you have mirror, Vienna suggests that you set the latency at either your DAW's buffer size or at zero. I found that zero works best for me. I have Digital Performer set at 1024 for playback, but mirror at zero. And the cache size I thought would be better at a higher setting, but it worked better at the lowest setting. So that's how I have the server set up. Now on this playback, if you notice, this template is about 53 gigabytes, which is pretty large. But I purposefully did not optimize anything. We take a look at the VSL instruments. Optimization is turned off. Everything is loaded into RAM. If we take a look at one of the instances that has contact instruments, same thing. So all my contact instruments are completely loaded with all samples loaded. But I will tell you, and I'm going to cover this in my next video in a few days on optimization. Optimization is a good thing especially if done right. So let's take a look at an example of that. So let's take a look at the trumpet and you can see the trumpet line here. These are the notes that are being played back. Here's a few more. It's basically just legato and staccato. Now, when I optimize this, this memory footprint drops down to about 32 megabytes. And when I do that for all of my contact instruments and my VSL instruments, it drops the overall footprint down to about 30, 32 gigabytes. I'll do that in the next video so you can see that and I'll mess with some of the other optimizations and I'm going to get much deeper into contact optimization and some VSL optimization. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about system specs, mine or yours, if you have any questions about this composition or your compositions or this template or yours, uh, or if you have any questions about the optimization I went over today, please leave any comments or questions below, and I'll address all of them. And I'll see you guys in a few days with my optimization video. Okay, thanks guys. See you soon.